We'll wait until that man's finished. Then we'll go and ask the Colleen if she knows of anything for us, eh? I don't know about that now. Ah, that's settled then. Come on, he's away. Good morning. Could you give me the card number and the job you want to apply for? No. Perhaps your friend could go and take a look at the number. No. No? No, I can't. Why not? Because we haven't found a job for the both of us. Right, Sean? Right, Seamus. That's why we've come to see you. To see if there's anything tucked away in that little file there that my friend Seamus and me can do. Anything at all. We can do it. Anything. Like he says. Well, I'm sure if you look again, you'll find something. Ah, no. We've been looking for ages. Since opening time. Right, Seamus? Right, Sean. And there's nothing at all, except for trained men now. And we want untrained work. I may have just the job for you. Now, all I require are a few details, such as name, date of birth, etc. Oh, and before I fill in the forms, can either of you drive? I drove a forklift truck once. That's not the type of vehicle I mean, but if either of you drive a hearse, then there's a couple of jobs going at a funeral director's. And Mr. Berry wants two strong young men. Sounds like a dead-end job to me. <laughs> <laughs> I can drive one. I used to drive one back home. Did you know, Seamus? I did that, and good at it as always, too. Well, then, I'll take your particulars. It's Mr... O'Malley. Seamus O'Malley. Age? 27. Mm -hmm. Date of birth? Oh, I remember that all right. My mother said there was murder on in the house that day. It was St George's Day, 1955. 23rd of April. It wasn't April at all, at all. But that is St George's Day and Shakespeare's birthday. No, fancy that, Seamus. I didn't know that great man was born on that day. Nor did I. Look, if you could just give me your date of birth. Ah, I remember now. It was March 1955, St David's Day. Because my mother said, her husband, that's my dad, he said, fancy having a son born here on St. Day from across the water. He would have been pleased to see me born on St. Patrick's Day. That would have given him an extra excuse to be drunk. <laughs> to be sure, Seamus. And he would have called you Patrick, I bet. <laughs> if you could just give me your address, Mr. O'Malley, then that'll be all I need from you. I'm stopping at the same place as Sean here. Where is that, Mr. O'Malley? Six, Forest Close, Blackton. Thank you. Now, if you could give me your full name, birth date, and so on, we'll be complete. It's Mr. Sean Anthony Liam Kevin O'Reilly. Oh, really? Uh, no, O'Reilly. <laughs> yes, date of birth? Uh, same year as Seamus here, only a few months later. Date, month? The 14th of June. Thank you, Mr. O'Reilly. That'll be all. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I'll make an appointment for you to see Mr. Berry. What are you tapping me for? Paddy O'Flynn was born on that day. I know that man. Sure, we were good pals, Paddy and me. He's dead, you know. Well, if he's not, there'd be hell on in that coffin. I was at his funeral last month. You know, Seamus, that's the first time I ever knew Paddy to miss a drink at a wake. We call it a good send-off. We all enjoyed it. Except him. Your cards, gentlemen, with the address and the time of your appointment. I wish you luck. Next. <laughs> 